today's message is, I feel, a very important one. Um, this is something I've worked through many times in my lifetime um, to help me on my spiritual journey. And um, I'm very appreciative of these things that happen in my life to make me grow and understand who I am as a person and how much I've, I've grown myself spiritually in my life uh, with the lessons that are brought forward to me. So I drew a card from this deck and it they made me shuffle it three times, which was barely, barely a shuffle and pick the third card. So um, I did. This is the card. That's a painting I did. I think that's on my mom's wall. <laughs> but anyway, um, the message is called past life. But it's not about past life regression or past lives that we've lived. It's about in the past of this current life that you are in at this time. Okay, I'm going to read the message. And then I'm going to read you the message that they just brought to me. Uh, brought through as I was getting ready to do this, okay? So the message on the card is, our past helps us develop our soul's growth. Uh, history is often repeated over and over if we fail to see the lesson. Support from God and the angels allows us to take as long as we need to understand life challenges so we can move forward on our spiritual path. So sometimes you may get in uh, a place in your life where you feel like you're stuck in a loop with a similar situation, with a similar uh, set of circumstances coming at you, um, with certain people, with certain habits, with mindsets, with, um, you know, different things in your life that can be repetitive. Okay. So this message is more so, um, okay, how can I say this? So they said, there's a lot of stuff going on out there, okay, in the world, but they don't want me to focus on that. What they want me to do is kind of start fresh from the beginning of where I started um, doing messages for you all. Because as we're moving through these new things that are occurring around the world, it's changing us, okay? It's changing our mindset, it's changing us at a heart level, it's changing our understandings. A lot of things are changing within us and making us new people. So as we're woken up to um, things that trigger us to find out we've, you know, been kind of living in a dream world, okay, um, this is where the work starts for many people, okay? There are a lot of people that are, um, you know, wide awake and know what's going on. There are a lot of healers out there already, um, and you're going to get busier because more and more people are waking up to what's going on. And they need to discover who they are at this new level. Okay, so you may feel like you had it all together prior to this. And that may have been the case. But when you're shaken, when God shakes us, he's sifting things out of our field that can't be there anymore. So he brings it to our attention in different scenarios with different different people, different things, you know, to wake us up to release that that, you know, um, isn't good for us that shouldn't be in our consciousness in our field as an individual for who we are for on our own ascension path on our own growth spurt if you want to say it that way okay so he said to me when I read this and uh, it's Jesus is who I'm connecting with today um, I read history is often repeating itself over and over when I read that line this is when he came in and said Suzanne how many times have you given people the benefit of the doubt? So we're going to focus on relationships here, okay? And this is the message that he was saying directly to me for to share with everybody because um, I'm not the only one that goes through these different things in life. We all experience similar things and we're here to help each other, right? So um, how many people or how many times have you given people the benefit of the doubt? Each time you try over and over with certain individuals, there has been a time in between for growth. During that time, there are energetic adjustments at play. Um, when there is a balancing of the soul, you like of your own soul, you may be ready to try again with that person or that job or that diet or that thing, right? When there is a balancing of the soul, you may be ready to try again. Um, oh gosh, the writing is not the best on the babies going so fast and I wasn't typing. So if there's a quick decline in frequency where there starts to be a feeling of discomfort and you have tried, even though your own, even through your own growth to make it fit, uh, but it doesn't, 
the lesson is learned and move on. The other party may not understand, um, but for your own heart and soul growth, it is necessary to break the tie so God can usher in new awarenesses for growth for you as a spirit. Okay, so that's the message he brought through. He's focusing on relationships. So each time, and it could be with a parent, it could be with a sibling, it could be with a workmate, a friend, a, uh, a relative, a husband, a spouse, you know, wife or whatever, um, a mother. He's saying, come in and say, no, mother. Okay. Um, you have these situations you go through where you, you tend to pull apart. And then in that time, you have a time to think. You have time to, if you're being a truthful spirit, you will look deeply into your part of the situation, your part of whatever happened, not placing a judgment or blame on the other person. You may be aware of how things happened or how you react or how they reacted or whatever to your situation, but you need to do the work inside. You don't justify to make yourself feel better. You really look truthfully at how you have displayed yourself to another person. If in your heart, you are not being mean spirited, you are not being um, vindictive, you are not flying up the handle in a quick response to something without looking deeper into the situation and trying to understand where that other person may be coming from. Okay, if you're being truthful with yourself, you will be able to identify your own flaws. And when you can say, hey, you know what, maybe I was a little impatient. Maybe I should have stood and listened a little bit longer in that conversation. You know, I was pr probably I was wrong in that situation. You know, I, I'm, I'm that's something I'm going to work on. I'm, I'm going to forgive myself for that oversight and I'm going to move forward. And that's how you work through things. Right. But if you don't look at the situation from that mindset, there will always be a victim mentality. There will always be that person didn't care. There will always be, they gave that promotion to somebody else and they just overlooked me altogether. They didn't, um, you know, they're putting their focus onto this person instead of me. Um, you know, all those things that happen when there are two souls in a space of a relationship, right? When there's that separation, you really need to look at it from a point of view of your own growth without blame, without judgment, without pointing the finger. You know, when you point the finger, what happens? These three are pointing back at you and the thumb's pointing up to God and God's shaking his head. <laughs> That's not part of that whole saying, but I just thought I'd throw that in there. Um, you know, that it's the truth. When you point your finger at another person without looking deep into your own soul and being honest because you cannot lie to yourself. Well, you can lie to yourself, but your entourage around you will be shaking their head going, how many times does this person need to learn this lesson? And they bring back around another soul or another job or another whatever, you know, um, let's put it this way. They bring another bag of ruffled chips and shake it in front of the person and go, is she going to bite this time? Or has she learned her lesson, right? You're going to go in a loop with that kind of thing until you figure out who you are. Are you a needy person? Are you eating out of, you know, for comfort? Are you like junk food and stuff when you're trying to lose weight? Are you grabbing that drink or that cigarette or, you know, because you're stressed and you're, you're feeling a need to fill something and you're just grabbing for whatever is there. Okay. And I'm not pointing fingers because I smoked for many, many years, many years. Okay. So I'm not judging, never been a big drinker, but I've, you know, I've had a few <laughs> right in my time, but um, you know, when you get into the mindset of knowing you need to correct a problem, your team, your angels are right there to help you. God is right there to say, yay, she gets it. Let's cut that tie now. Like when I quit smoking, I was like, when I found out my granddaughter, my daughter actually was going to have her first child. I, um, and I had a, a music partner at that time who cared and uh, he didn't want me to smoke. But anyway, so I picked the day of my daughter's birthday the year before my, my first grandson was born. So that I know on my daughter's birthday, seven years ago, I quit just like that. And, and, you know, and it was like my team knew, okay, she's serious this time. 
the, there was no cravings, there was no desire to go back to that. Over time, there became frustration and anger when I smell it, because you, you get it out of your field. And you don't want that energy back. So it's a similar thing with relationships, right? With different people, you you know, your spirit knows when it's the right time to remove yourself or to walk away because it's not, you know, there's a collision all the time with frequencies with your siblings or with your whoever, right? And um, sometimes that will cause a division. And it's not a bad thing. Because, you know, keep people come in and out of our lives. And we can be heartbroken when somebody leaves our life or when we just can't figure out why does that person not want me around anymore? Or why does that person not feel like I do? Why is it so easy for that person to walk away? Well, maybe they've learned their lesson. Maybe they've, for them, um, they know they need to go a little bit higher in their, they're saying adjustment period. They need to go a little bit higher and step up their game and start new things to to learn and to evolve even more right so sometimes we need to walk away that's why a lot of times you know you go through school with people and through high school and your best friends and then you leave high school and that's it it's like you're on a new adventure you still think about those people but hey like you know what I'm still not that anymore I'm not in that place anymore I don't do that anymore I don't think that way anymore and it's okay to move beyond that. It doesn't mean you don't care about those people you went to school with or that you, you know, you did things with in the past or you were friends with in the past or you were in their wedding or you were at their birthday party or whatever. You know, it doesn't mean you don't care, but it means you need to continue on your own journey and honor your spirit and honor the lessons that God is bringing forward for you so you can go out into this world and do the job you're here to do. If we get caught up on the little things with people, okay, and we get stuck in a loop of constantly trying, and people that are empaths, people that have that deep love for other people and, and animals and, you know, situations, and they can pray for countries and they can pray for people that have, you know, done horrific things. When you are at a point when you can sit in your chair, Connect with God and pray over people that have murdered other people. Pray over people that have harmed other people or done horrific things. You're praying for the soul of that person. You're not praying for what they did. You're praying for the soul. And when, or you know, in the different countries where horrible things go on and where people are suppressed and when you can remove yourself and you are truly connected to God and God. Okay, your higher power. You can pray for people without judgment, even if they've brought harm to you. Okay, but you, you know, you're you're in a good place with your soul when you can do it without feeling like a victim of whatever's happened. Okay, um, and that's important. Spitefulness, vindictiveness, talking about other people, and it, it's hard to like. It's not a bad thing to discuss things with friends and family if you're troubled about something. But, you know, deep in your heart, you need to not hold judgment for another person. And as humans, that's really difficult. It's really difficult because we've been programmed into separation, right? So all you can do is at a heart level, know that you're doing the right thing for God, not for you, for God. God wants us to continue to walk our path. He, I wish I could quote scriptures and things like that. But, you know, I was I was concerned about something yesterday. And all he kept saying to me was James 2, James 2, James 2. That came out of nowhere. And that whole chapter in the Bible, I believe, is about treating people the same. But it also means, and I don't know if it says this in the chapter, but I truly believe with Jesus. You get to a point where it's okay to move ahead from people that don't resonate. It's okay to move past people and past situations and and move on from them to continue on your journey and not get stuck in a place where um, you may feel like it's a repetitive loop and you're not being able to serve God and you're not being able to do the things you're being called for. I truly believe that. And um, 
I know I have a strong connection. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I still get my messages coming through and, and I'm put to some pretty, pretty intense tests myself. And I don't speak about them until I, this feeling comes over me from my collective that says, okay, now it's time for you to really speak about it because you've gone down this road with this situation, whatever the topic may be. Um, and you, you know, you understand the deeper, deeper reason why God presents these things for you. And when you get to that place of understanding the lesson, there's peace in your heart. There's not hurting. There's not feeling like you were done wrong to. There's not feeling like, you know, you're the, the other person is bad and then whatever, you know, there's a place in your heart that is at peace and non-judgment and you don't hold grudges and you don't judge and you don't, you know, when you're at that place, it doesn't matter what the other person comes at you with because you know, you're done right by God. And that's my take on it. Right. I know it's a, it's a, it's a funky kind of subject, you know, because it can, it can, um, relate to so many different scenarios what i'm saying it doesn't have to just be a relationship it could it's a relationship maybe with food and many people struggle with that especially when there's um so much conflicting information out there and um so many emotional things we're dealing with and you know i'm just talking about that scenario in general where you're in a loop and they bring it back again and they bring it back again and they bring it back again you know, I watch my I, I watch my friends and I watch posts and I watch people and that's who I've been my whole life. And I can see, you know, repetitive loop, <laughs> replay, replay, you know, and I just watch what's going on out there. And I'm not saying I'm perfect by any means, because I'm not. I've learned my lessons, but I don't dwell on them when I move on from something. It doesn't mean I don't care about people or care about, you know, whatever the situation was. It just means I know I need to continue on my journey because there's bigger things coming for me and I need to be ready for it. So I want you guys to start thinking that way. Don't step into victim mode if, you know, people remove themselves from your life. You know, how many times I've been unfriended on Facebook because people don't agree with my messages or they don't agree with the way I am as a, as a spirit. And you know what? That's okay. When I get to the point of, putting a block on another person. I've only done it a few times. It's because I really have moved forward and I don't want any kind of energy. I know how energy works. <laughs> I don't want it coming at me from any form if I've moved beyond it. So, you know, that's it's, and it's not a bad thing. I think we're entitled to protect our space at whatever cost that is and protect our field around us, you know, and, and take the key back from that person that, had freedom to come into your door, into your home, you know, um, when you break relationships up, you know, um, don't be afraid to stand up for who you are and what you've come to terms with and who you are in your life, right? So that I think is going to be the message today. It's a little, a little bit different. But, you know, God said to me before I started, people are waking up into a new reality of who they are, and there will be people coming out of their life and removing themselves right? No longer the best friend or no longer the sibling that used to hang out with, or you just don't get along with your parent anymore, or you do, you know, or those people are coming back into your life. You know, you have to, um, he wants me, sorry, to, to remember these lessons that we've worked through in the past five or six years or seven years, however long I've been doing this, um, and to still use my cards and to bring those messages forward, because when I started this journey back in 2000, I think it was 14 with these cards, or 15, somewhere around there, um, the messages are really good in this deck of cards. And there's always people waking up that need to be reminded and need to learn about these things that they've brought forward to share with you through this, through this method. So um, that's what I'm going to keep doing, keep coming on here when... You know, God tells me, Suzanne, you see this, you understand this, go <laughs> talk. <laughs> that's what you got to do. And that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep doing that forever and ever. Amen. And that is my message for today. I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. It is the 22nd of October today. 
And, um, you know, I care about everybody out there and I do, I do love humanity as a whole. Very passionate about my work that I do uh, spiritually and my uh, job with uh, Meta One. And, um, you know, it's important for me to keep doing what I'm doing. So thank you for tuning into my videos and for sharing my videos and keep resubscribing to my videos because sometimes people are unsubscribed. All right. So have a great day, everybody. And I'll talk to you again soon.